what's going on guys? Today we're back with another tutorial. We are going to learn a card. That's right, we're gonna learn a card flourish as I drop my cards. I'm gonna teach you two go-to flourishes that I use all the time during performance. Now, if you're a cardist, pay no attention to this because this is not super advanced cardistry. This isn't cutting edge card cutting. All this is is something fancy and flourishy and flashy to do if you're performing or if you just wanna practice and stuff. But that being said, guys, I'm going to teach you two cuts. One of them really fast, super quick, catches the eye. And the other one is basically an extension of the smaller one. A lot of you guys asked about these flourishes in other videos, so I decided to do one today. Get out your cards. Don't go and grab a brand new deck of cards if you're just starting cardistry. A little bit of a tip, a poop deck works perfectly, and a poop deck is, this isn't exactly a poop deck, but this is uh, a broken in deck, something that I've dropped on the floor probably three dozen times, and uh, they're a bit clumpy. Perfect for cardistry because now they stick together uh, better for packets. The further ado, oh, by the way, uh, two things, one, Check out the secret link below. And number two, I also announced the winner of the two deck giveaway I did on two videos ago, which was uh, the, the deck review. So you get the dystopia and the drifter playing cards. Uh, the winner is announced below, so congratulations to you and sorry for everyone else, but thank you for participating. Now get your cards out, let's learn flourish. All right, so definitely a few prerequisites with this flourish. The one main prerequisite is being able to do a revolution cut. Don't have a in-depth tutorial on the Revolution Cut on my channel, but I'm sure if you YouTube it, there are plenty out there. Revolution Cut is by Brian Tudor. Uh, the tutorials are up on YouTube by everyone else. Basically, it's not the Charlier, which you can do this with the Charlier if you're more comfortable. Go ahead and do that. I won't run through that, but just replace the Revolution with the Charlier, and the Revolution looks like that. Okay, so once you got that down, this is what the first flourish is going to look like. So it's basically just this. It looks like there's a lot going on, and that's what I like about this flourish, but there's actually not much going on. It just looks that way. But what you're gonna be doing, this hand, all this hand is doing is a revolution cut. Simple enough. And this hand over here is going to grab a small packet, I would say between seven to 10 cards. As you open up your flourish, so as you open up your revolution cut with this hand, you're going to grab uh, with your thumb and middle finger at the pips and indices corner. So if you're right-handed, it's this. If you're left-handed, it's the, uh, no, it's, it's, it's the opposite. Right-handed, you're here. You're going to cut this packet in half. Now this one here, this is kind of like your little pivot points here on these two fingers. So all you're gonna do is move your hand forward and use the index, which is here. So while you're doing your cut, all right, your index is gonna be here. Before you, before you go ahead and do that cut, you keep your index here. And this finger is just going to, you act as a bit of a, a bit of a wedge there to get this top pack spinning. So as soon as that's spun, you're here. Now your index is going to go here and you're going, to, you're going to revolution cut. So as soon as you revolution cut, you want to make sure this is quick. All you're going to do is this, All right? So from the, behind the back, it looks like this. Okay, so this one here, you can either go off the index or you can go off the thumb, whatever you're comfortable with. You're here, bring this hand out forward a little bit because it's going, the cards are going to have to land like this. And if you're down here, they'll land off, right? So you want them to land like that. Boom. Bring it forward, drop it, close it. This is kind of like a, a game of how quick can you do it? Okay, so quickly. Now all this move is, so if I turn it once, I'm face up towards, let's say a spectator, right? And I'm going to use this index. I'm going to turn it 360 degrees and then my index is automatically going to almost pinch the cards here in the corner with my thumb. I'm just going to let go with my middle finger and let the whole thing fall down. When done, you can't really do this slowly because slowly it kind of looks like this and kind of sloppy. When you do that fast, you know, it kind of gives it a cool flourishy flashy look. Just remember that when you're going to revolution cut the the top packet the one you're spinning out here will drop on that packet before it closes and the idea is this packet has to drop first so you're gonna have to do that really fast if you're doing a fast revolution cut this just has to be a fraction of a second faster now you can do it with a charlier like this right and it still looks cool 
or you can do it with a revolution cut, which I think looks a little bit cooler, adds a little cog to the gears. Boom, here, and as soon as, as soon as I'm here, I'm gonna do it all at once so it gets that flashy action, right? You want that, right? You can drop this packet on top instead. I just think it kind of looks more complete when, when it's in the middle and this thing kind of like engulfs it. So that's the first flourish. Learn that before you jump on to the next one. All right, for the next one, about the same thing, about the same mechanics, except you're going to add one thing and it's very simple. So as you come here, uh, you're gonna do this same thing. You can use your thumb instead of the index to turn it. So you're gonna use your thumb. As soon as you're turned here, your two thumbs are gonna be together, right? So your two thumbs, so your right thumb is gonna get behind that thumb and contact it. And the other side is held by the index, right? So the index is going to act as a fulcrum point here. Boom, okay? So from the front, it looks like this. You go bam, and then the thumb here splits that packet. Okay, so again, we're going to middle finger thumb, roll off the thumb here, drop half that packet, Automatically, my thumb is going behind this thumb, so it's gonna be back here. Your index is going to stay here because that index is going to balance the cards between the, the right thumb and the left index. All right, so once you're here, now you're going to do a revolution cut, but at the same time, you're going to spin this packet. So it kind of looks like this. All right, let me get this from this angle here so you guys see this properly. All right, so from behind the back, this is what it's gonna look like. Boom, thumbs contact this packet and they split where the index is. Okay, my, my ring finger is getting ready to do that revolution cut. Because as soon as I come back, <laughs> damn bug. So as soon as I come back, I'm going to rotate that, grab this packet, tilt forward and get create that X, okay? Boom, grab, split, rotate everything. Now I got that X display close do the same thing as the other move right and close that up here here kind of like a little ballerina on top spinning boom close so at full speed it looks like this now there are a lot of variations that i do with this move for instance when you're here instead of closing it up you can spin it again and then make it go around kind of like that. So one last time, boom, open. They exchange, I get that X. Or like I mentioned, you can do the variations. So if you're here, you can just catch that. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with it, but just this little opener, this little it looks really cool. Again, that variation, I didn't get into much detail about it, but it's super easy. You would close it like that, but instead we're not gonna close it up. We're gonna go here and then we're going to extend the finger, bring it back, and as this packet closes, it's going to, the thumb's going to push that. You're going to go around the thumb, drop this other pack into this hand and close it up. So it gives it a cool, flowy action when you do that. Or you can close up straight away. It's up to you if you want to close up straight away. You can do that. Boom. The first one, once again, is super simple. Once you got, once you got this down, you'll be able to get the rest of it down because it's not, it's not that much of a stretch. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all I've got. All right, guys, glad you enjoyed it. Glad you stuck through it and uh, give it a couple hours of practice at least. You know, don't get discouraged the first 10 minutes if you're dropping cards, that's normal. Practice over a bed or a couch, your cards don't fall everywhere. And uh, thanks so much. Leave a comment below if you did enjoy this and a like, I appreciate it. And subscribe if you're not already subbed and we'll see you on the next video.